Hey, love bugs, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for the love and support. You know, the vibes and the, you know, the information and the love and the, just the beautiful vibes I send you, you turn around and give it right back and then you spread it amongst everybody else and you know that is just a beautiful experience so keep up the good work, thank you so much and for that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are yet to come for you and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the video. Or you're just telling me about the, you know, the impact, the gift that has been placed upon you. Or if you feel like you know the videos gave you good information or just put you in a good place go ahead and share the love and like even share and it'll all be greatly appreciated and thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and the meditation music i'm listening to today is inner inner meditation healing music inner peace music music for stress relief music for meditation so i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, you're a bomb person. And I'm, you know, I'm not talking about, oh, yeah, I'm bomb, I'm bomb. No, it's an acronym. Blessed over many battles. We, we are our blessed. We are blessed over many battles because it's just the fact is when we go through so many things and we experience so many downfalls and you go out your way just to do something right or go out your way just to do something that is from your heart that makes you feel good that is just a blessing when you are able to share that with other people or you know just amongst yourself you know just you know sharing love to yourself because it's just like nobody's gonna love you like you love you so it's just like you're that bomb person you know it's just like i'm listening to all these different you know the music today and i was like i was gonna go to revival today and it was just like it was thunderstorming I was my daughter was like well mom you know she was planning to go somewhere and she was just like well mom I'm planning to go ahead and stay home so um you know I'm gonna go ahead and stay here so I said okay I'm gonna spend some quality time with my baby so we will go ahead and watch us some movies and you know I was listening to Yolanda Adams and all these songs to start coming up and it was just like exactly at things that I'm going through it's just like when you're wanting to shake bad habits you want to do the right thing you want to be a better person you're trying to lead yourself on that correct path and you're you're being blessed with all those things when you know you can recognize the issues that you have and you're trying to correct those that's the sign of strength right there that's a sign that you're not giving up and you're keep thriving and you're you, you know you learn more and more stuff about yourself every day and I experience that so it's just like when you're listening to music you know and I'm just you know I'm asking for you know God just send me a sign that I'm on the right path and it was just like all these songs Yolanda Adams came through just just right at the right moment and I was just like dang you know I, I'm feeling really good today you know I'm, I'm just setting my boundaries up doing things that I need to do that's right for me and even though it might make me feel uncomfortable in the things that I don't want to do, but if I know if it's like blocking my blessings or putting me in a bad vibe or just putting me in a place that I'm not supposed to be, you know, I need to go ahead and correct that. And it's just when I can accept that and just say, you know what, it's all right. You know, you're going to keep, you know, you, you made mistakes, you kept making them, but you're trying to correct that. You're, you're trying to make sure you don't go through that ro rotating door of sorrow again. So it's just like when you get tired of going through stuff like that, you just got to correct it. So when you're that bomb person and you know that, you know, you went through so many battles, trust and believe you've got blessings that's on their way for you. You really do. And it's just like sometimes it's really hard to see that when you got so much negativity around you. You got so many things that's going on. It could be financial situation. It could be home life. It could be relationship life. Or it could just be your job. And you know when you're trying to correct those things and do what you need to do for yourself. That's one step to knowing that you're on your way to greatness. 
So you have to keep thriving. You know, even though you might have to take a break, that's fine. But just don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on the things that you you know you're thriving for. Or you you know you're working hard for. You know, it's just like you already know. And I say this on a lot of my videos. When you know there's things that you want in life and you work hard for them, the universe is gonna put you to test so many times just to see. Is this person going to give up? They want this. And they said they're going to do whatever it takes to get whatever they got to get. You always got to be careful what the heck you put out there. Because as soon as you do that, there are so many tests going to come out at you. And you know what I'm talking about. Because you're like, Rosalind, you know what? You're dead on it again. But you know what I'm talking about. You're going to have so many tests that comes at you. Just to see if you are willing to do everything it takes are you willing to do what it takes for the universe telling you okay if i ask you to do this are you going to do that if i ask you to step back from this person are you going to step back from this person if i'm telling you to go this way are you going to go this way and it's just like you know you got to do what you got to do and it's just you know you know your blessings are coming but there are some times when we're going through those tests and you know when it, there's things that you want it's never going to be easy you know when the stakes are really high the test is going to be really high too when you're going to go through hell to try to get through it but that is the whole point because you gain strength you you gain knowledge you, you gain self-respect you have you gain self-love and those are all the things that we need to have to survive anyway so i mean it's just like you might get pissed off about you know the things you might go through or whatever and that's fine but you already know you might not understand this journey that you might be on you don't understand the path that you're going and where it might lead you but you're going to get those signs and synchronicities and visions and stuff to let you know okay just brush yourself off and try again or you know what you're doing a great job we're proud of you you're gonna hear these things you're gonna hear those little voices in your head just the sound of encouragement but then you're also gonna have them little voices just gonna tempt you to do the things that you used to do because it was just like it was crazy today my daughter wanted to pick out out of all movies Constantine and I'm just like oh my gosh you know because this movie always does something to me because I can resonate with John Constantine so much you know being a child and seeing things that you know normal people don't see and that can be a frightening thing especially if you don't understand what it is you know you're seeing you know these disfigured faces and stuff i used to see things like this i used to be able to see things from the past that went on in certain places you know if the energy is strong enough and you know and it, it was just like to the point where i didn't understand my life and my, my mom was encouraged about it because she had that sight too. But my father tried to make it sound like it was a mental illness. So it's just a blessing to be able to recognize the things that, you know, I needed to recognize about myself and just go about these things. Because it was just like, you know, watching Constantine, it brought so many things back. And it, it was a lot of things that I've noticed in the situation that, I wasn't able to notice before and it brought me so much clarity and I was just like wow you know you have to do this self-sacrifice self and it's just like when I've been able to tap into somebody else's you know energy and you know help them heal and things like that I've seen some things that I choose not to want to see and even though I couldn't unsee them that I did and you know it's just like when I watched Constantine and seeing how he used the cat as a conduit to go down to hell to be able to see about you know um angie's sister isabel that committed suicide to see if she was truly there you know he was like if she, you know she committed suicide and you say she didn't you know if she she didn't do that and she was murdered she wouldn't be there so it was just a lot of things you know she wasn't accepting her gift she would you know just cast blame on her sister and say i don't see these things and there was a lot of times that i psyched myself out to the point where i stopped seeing them and to the point where it got to the point uh got to the point got to the point sorry about that we done it but it was at that point where i had no choice but to face my gift i had to acknowledge it i had to embrace it and know that it was true blessing because if i'm able to solve the things that I go through and understand why they happen the way they happen and I can make it a video make a video about it and tell you 
just to help you out to figure out your situation. That I mean, that blesses me twice. So, I mean, I love getting video, I mean, getting video comments back when people are like, Rosalind, you are all in my head. Rosalind, it just seems like I could be going through something and I'll watch your video and you could be talking about the same thing you dead on. So, it is a blessing when I'm able to connect with people and know, you know, you're not alone. You're not crazy. The things that you go through, it might not be normal to an average person because we are not average people. We're a gift from God, obviously, or a gift from something. And, you know, we go through torment and we go through issues, but we make it through. It's just like normal people, normal humans would not be able to go through and endure the things that we went through. So trust and believe for the things that you go through, you obviously are going to be blessed. And you're blessed just because you made it through that. So don't give up. Keep pressing and knowing you're going to get what you need to get. And I will talk to you on my next video. I hope you were able to get something out of my video. Like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know I'm about to upload my next video. Drop me a line. I'd love the chance to hear from you as much as you can hear from me. Or even about the positive feedback of the video. Or even about the impact it did. Or give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. And sound as much love and positivity as you possibly can and know you are truly blessed and you are truly loved and know there is always somebody praying for your better good and i will talk to you on the next video see you later peace and have a good weekend be safe and be responsible get tongues up and i'll talk to you later peace and <laughs> be wild